Hi everyone, it's me, Emma Jean. Uh, yeah, I'm back and I'm going to do something really different today. So, because it's the, the last day of the 31st of December 2014, it's the last day of 2014, by tomorrow it's 2015. So, yeah, so for you out there, Happy New Year, and yeah, you get the point. So, <coughs> I knew I didn't get to do the rookie groups, my top 10, so I'm going to do two parts in this video. So part one will be my top 10 male rookie groups between 2013 and 2014. And with the same thing in part two in this video will be the females between 2013 and 14. So I'm going to start from, let's get to the to my top 10 male idol groups that had come across within this year and a half that has done a lot of comebacks. You know that the, all these rookie groups has done quite a lot of comebacks. Some of them just debuted this year, some of them debuted last year and within this year in 2014 it was their year. So yeah, let's get to it. So number 10 is Mad Town. Okay. Everyone knows Pro C, Madtown, J J Toon Camp. Yeah, we get the point. L Black, uh, and that female I forgot their names, but yeah, I'm not very familiar with some of the girl groups, but okay. So Madtown obviously debuted last year, this year actually in October, not so, uh, between October and November, not so long ago, but. I got to say, I got a smile on my face because I really like their concept. It was different, and yeah, hmm. I enjoyed it. Was different. I know there were some people didn't like it because of their name, Yolo. Like okay, but yeah, at least it's just the name was a bit yeah, but the song was pretty good. So, yeah. So, we know that one of them, actually two of them are in a subgroup called Proceed. So, they debuted, they, they, obviously the subgroup debuted last year, a year ago. So, they were like kind of a rookie group. And then, the actual group they were meant to be in debuted this year. So, yeah. Oh. And one of them, who's also called Muse, who's one of Moose, who is one of my bias, by the way, he's cute, talented. He's in fact originally. He's in fact originally meant to debut with Am Black, but before personal reasons or personal health, he kind of stepped it down. So now he's in that town. So yeah, I'm glad that. I'm glad that um, he still stuck with J2 Camp for a little bit more years, and here he is. He debuted. Yay. Oh, damn. And now, <coughs> okay, although I, I kind of struggled trying to find um, the number nine and some of them because they're not really well known, and obviously. Some of them obviously are well known, some of them are not. So, so at the moment, mm, yeah. <gasps> so, let me just check. Just as there are so many rookie groups that, that has um, debuted this year, last year, it was really, really hard to. Um, Because you got groups like Troy, you got the girl groups called um, Kiss and Cry, Lucas, you got all these, and I like had to pick out like top ten wiki groups that had actually it was Troy. So I really like Troy, especially they did another comeback. So number nine is Troy. 
I had to change my mind because it, one of them was like, um, yeah, wasn't so keen, but now I'm keen on it now, so, okay, so, Ricky Group Troy, wow, this group, we know Bunky, everyone knows Bunky, he was a solo, well, he was a solo singer because he used to do collaborations, he did a collab song with, um, <coughs> Gain from um for her solo solo I think it was a solo debut or for her solo song uh, F U. Um I'm not gonna say the actual word because it's not a nice word, but yeah, F U. So yeah, his voice is very he's got really strong vocals. As you know, people like me, Popo, um Courtney, Jasmine, and some of the others, I think Jerry as well, some of us really love strong vocals. And I really like the, the fact that and Troy, they have strong vocals such as Bunky. And Bunky really brings out that, that vocals, I can't explain how good it is because it's so powerful. He's got, he's got those powerful lungs. His lungs are very, he's got healthy lungs, I can tell you that. You could tell that he hasn't smoked or anything, so yeah, if he does, that's not good, but <gasps> and I really like the, the the song Greenlight when they debuted, it was like a really exciting song, it was something new, it was really jazzy, and like, you know me, I love different sound instead of just a bubblegum, typical uh, boy band. So I like the fact that they bring out something different and a bit of rapping, it was good, yeah. And they did another comeback, it was a really good feel, because it kind of feels you going back to the 90s. For those who were brought up in the 90s, and the late 80s, or those who were brought up in the 80s, the 90s, you get the deal, you get my point where I'm trying to get to with, when it comes to music sound, and, you know, that mainstream kind of sound. So, <coughs> number nine is Troy. Now, let's move on to number eight. Of course, of course, of course, everyone agree. Well, not everyone, but remember, this is only my opinion, because it's so hard. You know, this year, I have to say, this year has been really hard to pick out the top ten rookie groups. Because this year, the rookie groups has been amazing. I mean, apart from the the dramas with some of the comebacks and some members leaving and companies being dodgy and stuff we're always here for the artists themselves because at the end of the day they're the ones who's being paid they're the ones who's been working really hard to get to where they are now and you gotta, you gotta give to these some of the rookie groups that, that have worked so hard this year you don't understand, they work really, really hard. <gasps> Anyways, number nine, Winner. Yes, obviously Winner, we all know Winner uh, were part of, known as Team A. So, uh, I think it was the program that YG were, were having. So, obviously it was an exciting year for them. And especially Minnow was the one that caught my eye. He's my bias now. <laughs> he looks, I'm not gonna lie, he looks just, his face looks like GD. Big time. GD. His voice, his voice sounds like TLP. Because he's so deep. So, yeah. And the songs are amazing. They had like, how many comebacks or how many MVs with one within a month? It was like, it was viral. It was like, and then. Minnow did a collab with, with um, Epic High, uh, Benzino and what's his name, B.I. and and Bobby. It was amazing. It was epic. It was an epic moment to see that. If it had T.O.P. and G.D., that would blow up the whole building because it's obviously it's Y.G. <laughs> yeah. Except Sai. I know Sai is part of Y.G., but... We love you, Sai, but uh, it will look awkward. <laughs> so, <coughs> anyway, so let's move on. Okay. So, Winner has a 
if you have not checked out Winner, you should check him out. Especially check out the song. Um, it's really good. It really, very. It's really different to what. Um, what's his name? To they're the new Epic High kind of group, if that makes sense. Because there's, there's a lot of singing, rapping, but it's not. It's unlike. Big Bang or Twenty One. Well, there's a bit of Twenty One, I think. I I don't like to explain it, but it's kind of different. It's just different. Anyways, let's just move on. Number seven, History. Wow, History. I love this group. I really do. You understand? I mean, they had gone through a big transformation from Dreamer to Psycho. That was a lot to take in to seeing how much these guys have grown. Especially I really love the song Dreamer when they first debuted. I think it was different. It kinda it kinda had a it kinda reminded me the the sound of the song kinda reminded me of Bohemian Raspberry from Queen. It had that kind of sound. And I like that. I like that kind of different kind of sound and it was really it was jazz jazzy kind of musical. Um kind of quick step kind of feel jazz it's yeah I can't explain it it's, it's kind of like a musical so it's nice really magical uh, I like that then this year they came up with they returned with Psycho wow if you haven't seen the video yeah you get the point it was like um okay history what happened <laughs> they went from a sweet kind of musical boys to drop their dangerously gorgeous killing uh gorgeous psychobi psychopathic guys. Oh and they look really good. <laughs> they look so good. And yeah, I really like it was different. I mean they were, especially the the comeback psycho. I think anyone anyone would expect it more like <clears throat> like grungy and stuff. But we thought it was going to be like Dark Concept. Well, it was a bit of Dark Concept, but it wasn't. It's qu The song is really catchy, I'm not going to lie. So, yeah. I have nothing to say as much. No, I don't have anything negative about it. Because the only thing is the message. Yeah, that's, that was a bit <laughs> different. And people was like, oh my god, that looks so good. So when you hear the translation, um, yeah, okay. <laughs> Yeah, the, the, but the, the Corey was killer. It's like they're really good. They're really good. I, I really like how they did this year. Well done to history. And especially the album. I love the album. My god. The album's amazing. If you haven't heard, if you only heard Psycho, you haven't heard the rest of the album, the album's amazing. I really love it. Although I love Psycho, but my favourite song is I Got You from History. Oh my god. <sighs> they caught my heart. <laughs> so yeah, let's so let's move on to number six. Double J C. They they beat me this year. Obviously we know they're Jackie Chan's um rookie group that they that he came up with in his company and <gasps> It contains, I think it's five guys again. Number, Eddie, Eco. Is this Sonny Chum? Sonny Chum? Yeah, the Mockney one. And Prince Mac. Yeah, it's five that guys. Yay! So, my bias. I have two biases already. I have this thing which I, I end up with having two instead of one. Um, my first bias is Eddie. He's such a dork. I love him. I love you, Eddie. Yeah. And um, my second one is Eco. He looks like Genie. Big time. He's literally Genie's clone, and it's amazing. And the only difference is that his voice is whenever it, he's also a rapper, and his voice is so deep. It's like, oh wow, it's just ten times he rap, ten times deeper than GD would normally would rap. So yeah. Especially, I always remember when Tu Min Jing Jong Ki <laughs> um, <coughs> did a reaction for the first time. It's Courtney's face of shock and how many beautiful men 
five, four people, well, it was four, it was five, and originally five, but because Prince Mike couldn't be in the video because he had an accident, so, or more or less he injured himself, he couldn't be in the video or he was ill. Well, yeah, one of those things happened. Um, you could tell her face, how, how taken back when she saw Eco, Eddie, Simba, the marketing one. Yeah, and yeah, just beautiful man, beautiful guys. But she could tell that Ika was like, with his eyes, he was like, he was just looking into your soul. It was like, oh my god. <laughs> but it was a ba amazing comeback. Then he, they come back again. I think it was in July, and it was a bit weird to see. Well, not really, because we had to get used to it, anyways. Eddie cuts his hair. He looks amazing. They all looked amazing. They were all being, oh, they were being working out. But one of them in particular, Eddie, one of my biases. Yes, he's been working out. Back muscles. That's how I can say that comeback was bump back muscles. Uh, I robots transformer. So yeah, it was a great comeback. Comeback. If you don't haven't remember my reaction, I actually did a reaction to it. It was amazing. It was so unexpected. <coughs> So yeah. So let's move on. So we're gonna now we're on one of the top fives of the best rookie groups that have my top one of my top ten rookie groups and I'm on top fives of them. So so position number five is God Seven. I love God Seven. God Seven, I'm so with you. I love you. <sighs> JB, oh god, JB, JB, thank you, <laughs> well, JB and Junior and Jackson, thank you, in this in this group is, is three of them, why, they just literally, well Jackson was the one who destroyed my bias thing, and then Junior, comes in with his egg, I don't know what he did to me, it was like, I feel like it kind of confused me, I was like, I need to have a proper organised, I need to have an organised bias list, so he won't go mumble jumble, and then JB, JB was the one that kind of sunk into his way, into my heart, and went, Poof, you're mine, he's like, I'm yours now, <laughs> so yeah, that kind of thing, that, that's, yeah. I wasn't, they actually debuted nearly a year ago now, because by tomorrow, did they debut the 5th? Yeah, more or less, I don't remember exactly, but, but hey, all by the 10th, so, it will be, it won't be long when, their anniversary come so today so yeah so when they first debuted I wasn't so keen on if I'll be honest I wasn't keen on girls 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 I'm not gonna lie it wasn't a bad song but it wasn't I don't know it wasn't it didn't kind of sink in and say wow amazing it was like it didn't kind of like punch in but in the album in the first album I think it was a mini album, but I don't remember exactly. The one that kind of punched through my soul was I Like You. That song. If you didn't see the dance practice to that, you see. They have two dance practice. They got the normal one and the boyfriend version to it. Um, the one that nearly kind of um, kind of took my soul away, thanks to JB and Junior and Jackson, <coughs> was the boyfriend version and from then on I already had that organized that Jackson's third place um <laughs> junior second place first place was JB and that's how it got stuck into and to this day it's still the same it still remained that way because every time I say JB you know JB's a beautiful man um yeah he's he's He's, he's, he's like the face of the group because he's too good looking um, whenever he winks I don't know what mine it goes through it's, 
it's very frustrating. Yeah, it frustrates me. I sometimes want to rip my hair out. I'm, I don't know. Probably the rip the my teddy bear's bow. Yeah. So yeah. Um. But yeah, they have. Although I wasn't keen on girls, 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 I expected more. And yeah, I got the good expectation from them, uh, especially when they did A. I think it was. I really loved that song. I really loved the album. Uh, it was exciting, it was different, two girls, 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 um, it was a lot better, it was funky, it was summertime, that was a summer jam, <sighs> good times, <laughs> and then they came back a few, not so long ago with um, Stop Stop It, as you know, I love the Super Mario overall, overalls, I, I don't call them overalls, I call them dungarees, I love dungarees, I'm obsessed with them, yeah, they're part of my childhood, anyway, <laughs> so yeah, it was different, and yeah, I, I really loved the, the fact that it had that kind of old school, um, Backstreet Boys, um, kind of feel, especially the outfits, kind of reminded me, especially when they wore the black, the, the black, um, dungarees, and the with the chain on on their necks, um, yeah, but it kind of remind me of, like very like nineties, really nineties. Um, excuse me, really nineties. Um, kind of feel. I, I really enjoyed it. Yeah, I really enjoyed their comeback. So let's continue. I really love you, Godzilla. I'm sorry you're not even at all number one. You just need to work hard. So although they yeah yeah they work hard, I know they're going to like Popo was saying. J uh, God Seven has the potential by next year. Hope to God by next year they might win an award in um like Music Bank and the yeah those some those those programs the Korean programs there where they win the awards from public vote and stuff. But they need they just need the perfect concept, the perfect song to take it home. So, yeah. So, fighting. <coughs> Let's continue. Okay, number four, Alphabet. My god, I love this group. It's different. I know for some people, like K pop Savant, they're not very keen on it because probably because the. They didn't capture the song yet and it's kind of feel a bit. Mm, not really. She, they're not really keen on something, the sound. Yeah. It, I like the choreo. That is my favorite thing about this group. The choreo is different, and so when oh, they only did like two co the two songs. Well, actually, it's actually three or four songs. Um, actually, five songs because obviously it was originally a, it meant to be a duo, but then they decided to make it a nine. Um, they did a a rap song a rap a uh, kind of mini song and it was amazing <laughs> I really loved it <laughs> and then they did a comeback it's different to normally what they usually do like kind of ABCs and alphabets and yeah that kind of film but yeah I think they have potential I really love the group it's different and plus they they're the, all of their stage names are with alphabets. <laughs> Begins with an alphabet from, from, I think it's from D to F, if I'm correct. Or I think it's from E, no, it's none of them, right? I think it's A. Yeah, it's from A to J. So, if you haven't checked them out, I think you should check them out. I think they're pretty good. Obviously, they're one of them groups that are pretty, a little bit underrated, but they'll get there, I know for sure. <coughs> Let's move on, top three, third point, third place is Boys Republic. <sighs> Guys, I love this group, I really do, but although the groups like this are amazing because it's different. <laughs> Well, I mean it's different because it has a bit of mixture, it has a bit of everything. Every element of music is a, is there. 
so they also if you don't know um there are it's a five it's five boys and yes I have two biases as well um Won Jun and Song Jun Song Jun Won Jun is the leader he looks like he's a, he's also um a lookalike from another <laughs> Korean K-pop idol from another group. Um, he looks like Jung Hyung from Shiny. He's practically his clone. They've been cloned. He has the most perfect speeches. <laughs> oh my god, it's frustrating. I love him. He's he's so honest. He's so cute. He's really good looking. Yeah. And then you have Song Jun. Song Jun is the rapper. When they first debuted it, you will notice one of them different, kind of cool, because he had a mihawk in. He had a mihawk hairstyle before when they debuted, and he's known as the rapper of the group, the singer, the rapper, and the dancer. He is awesome. He's a really good dancer, and he's really unique. And the whole group itself is unique. So you got Wanjun, Dabin, uh, Minsu. I oh know. Wait, sorry. Wanjun, Dabin, Songjun. Oh no, is it Minsu? I think it's Minsu, uh, Songjun, and Suwon, which is the monk May. He's actually the face of the group. I'm like, yeah, true. He has that kind of. He's actually perfect for that role because he's really good looking. They all are. All of them are. Um. Yeah, I only I thought it was gonna be Won Jun or Song Jun, but it went to or Minsu, but it went to the baby of the group. He's cute, oh, he's so cute. But they did amazing comebacks. I mean, how many comebacks did they do? They did um. Uh, hold on, from last year, there's two. This year they did three more. And I think told you they did about five songs, five MVs in total. And the recent one that just came out, the album is amazing. Their song, the MV that it came out, was the best MV I ever seen in such a long time. And especially in K-pop, you know everyone does the most obvious comebacks and it doesn't really bring in something new and especially for boys boys republic because they're so underrated such an underrated group they don't people don't appreciate how much they work so hard they, this group is really hard working when i first saw boys republic i was really hooked through what song party rock Party Rock was the tune that was a summer jam. That was my summer jam last year when I was in Colombia. That's how I kind of knew a rookie group for the first time. Two rookie groups, but <coughs> I'll get that to that. I'll get to that to later. Um, the song was amazing. The dance was crazy. The colours. It was a different kind of sound to usual K-pop. Yeah, and then they say you're special, different as well. I really liked the song, and especially how the boys look really good they look really good I don't know why they're not as popular as, as they should be like should be appreciated group I guess then they came up with video game that was a major comeback because I never expected that kind of difference and you know video game as if the concert was video game like Game games, ooh, Super Mario, ooh, Sonic the Hedgehog, yay! Dragon Quest, Pokemon, yep, yeah, those, those kind of games. <laughs> and yeah, it was different. And yeah, Street Fighter too, yay! Tetris, Pac-Man. Okay, I should stop now. Yeah, you get the point. Is it's different? And they needed dress up. Um, I wasn't very keen on that combat, but yeah, it was okay. It, you know, when it comes to the dance, to the choreography dance, it's it never it never disappoints me. Sometimes it's the sound of the song, and probably it was it grew it grew on me, but it was okay. I like the choreography. Anywho, the combat they did this year, the real one, guys, guys, 
if you have not checked out Boys Republic by now, you don't know what you're missing because this group is always in. Oh, I love this group. I love you, Wanju. I love you, Sungju. I love you, Dubin. Wensu. Suwon. <sighs> okay, that's Boys Republic. If you don't know, just check them out. Give it a try. Give it a chance. I mean, they're really amazing. They're really amazing. When I mean amazing, they are amazing. Anyways, let's move on. So, prestigious number two, Bangtan Boys, also known as BTS. Mm, I got to say, I was conflicted between number one and number two position, but then I just made my mind, you know what? This the way it is, just deal with it. And then, yeah, BTS number two is really hard to the another group as well, uh, which I also love too much as well. Um, I really love the BTS comebacks. They debut, the comebacks, they've been coming back. This group is serious. <laughs> this means serious business. They don't joke around, they don't sit down and say, yeah, I'm going to wait for the next comeback next year. No. Do you know how many comebacks that BTS has done from last year to this year? Wow. You got, I got to say, they're the most hard-working group I've ever seen for a long time in the world of K-pop and J-pop and J-rock. They work a lot harder than I thought they would do. <coughs> they did three... Wait, wait, how many comments did they do last year? Four? Three? Three, four comebacks? And then another lot this year? they done a lot of comebacks. I mean, I was so happy. I'm so happy that they did this kind of Oh, it's so hard to explain because they, they, they're an amazing group. I'm not gonna lie, they're an amazing group and this group has what they shown is we can do as many as we want and and as many as you want you get more popular. And they're rising up and I I can tell BTS also might win next year for like music bank, um, countdown, yeah. Eminem, a uh, double disclose in winning um the MTV um, EMA awards. They were so close, but they need to get that right concept next year for them to win. Okay, so although I was a bit conflicted with number one and number two, number one goes to Top Dog. My, 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 this group is something as well. Just like BTS, I, I really love this group. These groups are different. And there are some people who didn't give um, as much uh, credit to Top Dog, mainly because there are 30 members, mainly because they were, they were in the same, they're in the same company as where Block B used to be, and yeah, you get the point. Um, but when it kind of, the kind of concept for their debut, people were not keen on it, they were like, um, okay, but then you get, you, you get to know them as a group, they're an amazing group, if you haven't checked them out, you should check them out, this guy, this, this group has done a lot, I really love this group, I was, I'm still conflicted with my biases, because t Atom kind of ruined my bias list in a way because it's actually um, Natka and Song Jung, Song Jung, I think it's Song Gun, I think it's Song Gun, yeah. Um, they're my two biases, and then probably the third place goes to um, Atom. It's freaking long locks. Yeah, so they did a couple of comebacks this year and. He, they grew as a group. Um, they grew as a, they have grown as a group, and and they have produced really good music. And we all know that Nat Cole used to be in um, this program 
my doll with Vix. So he was this close in going into Vix, but that didn't happen. But that didn't end him to becoming an idol because now he's in Top Dog and he's living the life of a really popular group because they're growing and growing and growing and people have loved their comebacks especially Annie everyone was loving Annie especially myself the album um, because of the anniversary from a year ago so it's, it's good that they done something different to them they went from yeah, bad boy. <laughs> but they went, cause they kind of mellow down. They did different things, like kind of R and B-ish kind of song, like slow. And they went up from that. They did um, kind of traditional j Korean kind of music with hip hop of it, was which was amazing. Um, they did um, kind of mixture. They did a com another comeback this year as well with um orchestra and hip hop which was really good that was the best comic ever and they look so good and everyone loves Yano's rap because he's so epic oh my god anyways so that's my top 10 on BTS uh, I mean top dog <laughs> on my rookie groups this year what is yours put it down on the description down below who is your top 10 um, male rookie group from part 1? Um, if you disagree, no hard feelings guys. You don't need to um, make a big war over it. We all have opinions, you know. Be free about it, you know. That's so yeah, on the description, d on the comments down below, comment your, your top 10. Because I will be very interested in what's your top 10 males. Now, okay, moving on. As I said, I'm going to do <coughs> Ow. <laughs> um Okay, so uh, I hope I didn't nah. So, um, okay, well, there have been quite a lot of females, and haven't got, it was pretty hard to pick up the most accurate females, because it wasn't as much, so, apology if it's one group that I haven't heard, I need to hear it first, because it's in the top list, because I was like, no choice, just put them there, because I'm not very keen on so much on the girl, on the females, but some of them I'm really keen on, but because they're not in a puddle. 2013, then yeah, you get the point. Okay. I don't know why I'm yawning. Oh, it's 8 o'clock. Okay. 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock. Okay. So we're on now on my top 10 females, top 10 rookie female idol groups that has come out last year and this year kind of thing. So this is part two on my top 10 K pop rookie groups. Okay, so top ten is Sonamu. Yes, I heard that Sonamu is, and I know everyone knows what's been going on with with um, BAP and all you babies. I love BAP. I'm not I'm not a baby uh, fan person, but I love the group. I love the music. So for all of you guys that are, in, that are babies, um, please be patient. Um, Keep su continue supporting your group because they're gonna need it. They're gonna need all your support and especially love and care. So stay strong, guys. And BP fighting. Okay. So yes, yeah, Sonamu, which was the group there where um, BP is used to be part of, and then they're suing the group, uh, the the company for some reason. Cause long story. What do I feel about this group? Like I said, I like the fact it wasn't the typical girls' generation, uh, typical sexy concept or cutesy concept or 
bubblegum concept or the most typical girl group like for example one of the most cheesy slut girl groups that you can think of I could think of Spice Girls yeah you get the whole point uh, it's not the typical yeah it's not that typical but it wasn't perfect either but they did a really pretty good combat pretty in a combat pretty good debut it was okay the song was okay I know some people have a kind of different opinions about the group uh, it wasn't it was the song wasn't that bad and I know there, there would be some areas to be improved but that's why they need to work each year every year to work, uh, each comeback uh, for within a year to improve themselves just like Vix just like uh, FX um, yeah all these groups you know you get the point uh, yeah uh, okay so I wouldn't say much to Sona Wu because they just debuted so so if you know much about the names of and I don't know any names because I don't have a bias any names of it of them but hey you get the point so top nine is lovelies I don't know that much about them because they just debuted this year as well I don't think I know was the contro controversial with one of the members of Jisoo um, with involving about her being a, a bike uh, that kind of thing, or her being rape, being a rapist, and that kind of controversial, which kind of held her them to, to full on do the be noticed as a group. So, which is a pity because I wanted to know more about the group, but but the group's I think it's got good vocals. Uh, yeah, some areas need to be improved, but with that said, it's not really. A serious thing, yeah. So okay, so let's move on. <laughs> Sorry if I have to say something short about the the two groups, but once I get to know more the groups, um, you know, like more of the songs and get to know them as a group, then I was like, yeah, woo -woo -woo. like some of them I would speak about in a minute. Some of them, not all of them. <coughs> um, eighth place goes to GI. Also known as Global Icon. I love this group. It's just like Sonomu, it's different. They go hard and they and they and they, yeah, they're not necessarily have to look like guys, they are girls, but it's just to say make it fair and square that they don't have to make it cutesy or bubblegumish and cheesy and kinda corny or kind of how can retro or kind of in a way the most typical girl group that you see most of the times we love most of girl groups but we don't need to be uh, having every single one of girl groups has to do the same thing all over it's like huh but yeah so I like the, the colours of their hair, especially when they debuted last year. It was amazing. It was like different. I was like, what is this group? It caught my attention. So who is this group? I want to know more about them. They haven't done a comeback this year, but I I hope next year they do another comeback. I anticipate for them to come back and do something what anyone does not expect them for them to do. So yeah. So let's move on. Sorry. <laughs> Not much. <laughs> okay. Seventh place goes to What's Up. I know, I know. Why is What's Up there? What's Up is different. That's all I can say. It's not, like I said, it's not a typical um, grungy kind of group or the typical sexy group or the typical, typical girl group, like I said. It's different as well. <coughs> Um, well, although last year a lot of people hated this group, they despised this group because they brought in to the table of K-pop twerking. I'm not a fan of twerking, but the way they, and people say, oh, they can't twerk, oh, okay, it's like, okay, it's like, I can't twerk to save my own life, so I can't say they can't twerk because I don't twerk, so, at all. Or, I don't even know how to twerk, so I wouldn't say anything or judge them, but, hey, 
but after the while people are gaining love to have some love for them because it's different and they brought in what I would call reggae the kind of you know the typical reggae that no girl group in K-pop will ever come up with reggae and especially for they did a bit of, a bit of collaboration with some of the artists they did well three comebacks three two comebacks this year and it was different and I like how different it became and saying this is a group that we expecting we have been expecting them to do. They didn't do no sexy concert or cutesy concert, but they did reggae concert for the football of Brazil. And it was different. It was really nice to see that for what's up to be what's up to be to be different. And I like that. So yeah. Although my friend, my best friend, he he's he he's into. I think he's. In, is it? <laughs> no, it's not Nari because Nari is Popo. What's this girl's name? <laughs> I forgot her name. But yeah, he's into her because probably because he says it's she's paradise. He's such a perv. I'm sorry, I got some friends up her. I think it's Nada. Yeah, it's Nada. Yeah, he's into Nada. Uh, maybe because she's got big bums and he he likes Asian women with big bums and curvy kind of body and he says she's perfect in every single way. His eyes probably went upside down when she saw when he saw her for the first time with twerking. Um, what was their first song again? <laughs> I think it was What's Up. Uh, yeah, the song What's Up, the group What's Up, and yeah. For the first time, he's. It felt like a Cupid angel, an angel Cupid, just came into his heart and just kind of threw an arrow into his heart when she's when he saw N Nada. <coughs> yeah. Anyway, move on. The next group that I say they have improved as a group, they grown as a group, they grown as ladies. They have gained, in a way, respect. In as much. And I kind of knew it was going to come for them, in a way. Six point, in the sixth position is AOA. I love this group. When I first saw the song Confused, I was like, well, the song, yeah, it's okay. But I can see potential. I was able to see potential in the group. I was like, but they have potential. But yeah, there's a lot of potential in the group, and especially I knew that they, I knew that the group didn't do much because although they originally debuted in 2012, they weren't as popular. They were originally as a, it were originally a band, but because they they did a, a kind of band song, but then it wasn't as popular, and yeah, you get the point. But it wasn't really as popular as it should be. So the group kind of took a break and they re evaluate the group, the Admiral group members. And then this year they debuted, or last year they re debuted this group as a girl group now instead of a band. And The slight has shined on them ever since Confused, ever since they came back with Confused, and and it was like a new thing that AOA was going to bring in to the table. Until this year, they say they came out with like a cat, and it was amazing. And their outfit was amazing. The dance was catchy. The song was catchy. They looked really good. Yes, it was a really good. It was a good year for them. It was a really good year because they got themselves noticed. Anyway. So yeah, I don't have a bias in this group. I just love their music. Really love their music. I really love what they have come, what they have brought onto the table. Like a cat. <coughs> yeah. And they have a, uh, I think it was an Australian guy with the tattoos. Uh, yeah. Hmm. <sighs> Mimi must be on the 
on the heaven heaven step with with his tattoos like Miss Bailey from K pop Savant. She loves men with <laughs> she loves men with tattoos, so yeah. Anyways, let's move on. To the fifth position is Bestie. I really love this group. Um, I li really love their kind of cute. Uh, yeah, it's kind of cutesy songs, but at the same time, some of the songs are kind of pop, like a bit of a bubblegum. So yeah, it's uh, yeah they're okay. I guess they're not the most perfect groups, but I know most of these groups needs to improve. Just like AOA improved quite a lot in a different way as possible. I think the most groups need to be more noticeable. I mean, just like AOAs, what's up? And most of these groups that have kept it this year, I think they they yeah, they have a lot of potential to um to reevaluate themselves and make it more improvable and yeah learn every day every day it's, it's like a lesson every day is like a, a, a daily basis to learn new things and improve them so yeah so so that's that's bestie number four position number four is red velvet before you say anything oh my god red velvet they did a controversial. I didn't like that song they debuted it. Oh, um, the the nine eleven blah 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 and the uh, Japanese disaster blah blah blah. Okay, we get it. We all get the that controversial with SM. And before you say, oh, but EXO they used to be twelve, now they're ten. Oh, see, they kicked out Jessica. Yes. Oh, that controversial that FX had because of SM. Oh, yes, we get it. Okay, we know the history of them. Oh no, but it, because of them, look at Super Junior. Look at, look at Shinwa. Look at um, some of the groups that are not even there, like Trax, or TVXQ, or DBSK, or Toroshinki. Yes, we know everything about SM's bad deeds. But does it really mean that? These groups are responsible, or the rookie groups that the beauty are responsible to SM's antics. No, we're here to support them, guys. So, oh, so although their <coughs> comeback, well, not comeback, their debut song was a bit too cutesy for them, a lot of people didn't like the song. And not only that, some of the songs people had said, um. People had said about the group and had said what SM has shoved in in the video, um, they didn't like. So yeah, of course, SM always causes trouble. So we can't really blame the group. So they, the group will want to say, hey, let's put in the uh, 911 and crashing planes and earthquakes and tornadoes and volcanoes and sea covering other killing people and sharks killing people. No. It was all SM's idea, right? <laughs> so <laughs> we can't really blame the group. But although they another controversial you'll know, I kinda found out myself by researching really, um was their second comeback. Um I think it was Be Natural, I think it was called. Yeah. If you remember, yeah, I, I, I really like the song, I'm not gonna lie. Um, yeah, we got Red Velvet. I kind of forgot the song. Yeah, Be Natural. Ooh, good memory, Gisela. Um, Jane, yes. <laughs> good memory, I'm um, Jane, yes. Brilliant, well done, me. So, obviously we know about Be Natural, it wasn't originally their song, it was originally by another by another group from, uh, that was used to be with SM Entertainment, uh, which was uh, under the name of SES, the group. So, yeah, it was C, Eugene and Shaw, so that was the, the names of the, of the band members that were in the group at that time 
Um, and then, yeah. They were popular. They didn't dance, so they only did it was singing. So they were the original song, they were the original group who sang the song, um, Be Natural. But because no one really hears the song or listen to the song, um, ASM Entertainment decided to remake the song. And it became really popular and it was really good that they sang it, their version, I don't know, not really their version because they sound alike, but it was a good comeback and I know people were not happy with it, oh they're saying, oh but the original song is better and this and that, who cares, people just needs to chill out, <laughs> people need to chill, because most of us, like, Timin Jin Kok Jung Ki, uh, Mr. Popo, Jerry KML, um, K-Pop Savant, I guess I can I include myself and K-Spasm, really love this song, and I really love what I came out with, especially the choreography, the outfits they wore, everything about it was on point, it was simple. It was simple and it was on point. The dance routine was choreograph um, choreographed because the original didn't dance; they just sang. Whereas they sang and danced, so yeah. So there's not much I can say about it. It's just good. Really love this comeback. Anyways, now we are on our top three. So position three, it was purples. That was debuted also this year. Yeah, it was a good debut. It was three members, and yeah, it was, it was really good. I really loved the song they came up with. It, it was good. It was really kind of kind of bit electronic, and I like how they did with the choreography. It was different. It was simple. It wasn't too much um, skin, which is good. I hate when they had so much skin. Apart from the guys, it's fine. But the girls, they had a little bit more clothes. So yeah, it was good. Um, let's just move on because because they did just debut, I wouldn't say much about them. But I wanna, all I can say, the song was really good. It was different. So yeah, and the, and the, the the dance the dance piece was really simple as well. It, look, it doesn't look really hard as it looks as we would think of. Okay, second place is Mamamoo. Sweet Lord, I love his group. Vocals everywhere. <laughs> Vocals. <laughs> oh, Ginger. Yeah, they got really good vocals. They got those strong vocals. They're like the new speaker. I'm telling you, they're the new speaker. Why well, I mean the new speaker? They got those vocals. They got the lungs. They. Uh, they sing their heart out, and they look freaking good. And I know um, Anne and Hombin also participated in one of the videos with Mamamoo and Bunky. It was a freaking good video. And they had that disco kind of feel, that, that kind of jazzy kind of feel, that, you know, elegance. They're really elegant, and especially, they kind of, when, when they did, I think it was the second comeback when second or third comeback when they had this kind of goldish kind of 60 kind of look like really simple really singing their heart out without dancing because they don't dance they just sing they stand and sing um they kind of reminded me of girls girls aloud which is a girl group from the uk <laughs> yeah they kind of thought i think it was the promise I don't remember, it's one of them songs, and it had that kind of sexy, and it had that kind of kind of glittery kind of dress with that kind of hairstyle, and it kind of had the big microphones that the 60s, the 50s used to do, just having a bunch of women singing, just standing, just sing, just sing, and yeah, it kind of felt that way, it kind of had that feel to it, it was really good feel, good memories too with Girls Aloud, kind of miss them, Ooh. anyways, so first place, first place goes to Ladies Code. Yes, although two members of um, Yombi and Rise um, passed away this year, um, but 
three, four months ago. Um, <laughs> sorry, I'll keep you on here. I don't even know why. Um, although they passed away, I want to give them the first place to them because they have worked really hard from last year to this year. Last year, yes, they did uh, the, the 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 debut song wasn't really the most stand standard um kind of feel to it but then I, they continued growing bit by bit and they became a, such a good group so yeah I think my one my bias would be Ashley because she's American not really but <laughs> I think she's an amazing dancer and she she's good but yeah, um, um, yeah. Although they had a really hard, they worked really hard. I did about three comebacks this year. I had all of their songs, and then Kiss Kiss came along in a different way. Then Rita Nyombi died, passed away in the most tragic way as possible. A tragic, well, not as possible, but tragic way that no one really expected to see that come in. That's the most that's the most obvious thing I can say. We didn't see that coming. We didn't expect that two members within one year, on the same month, one within one year in the same month, would pass away just just because of a car accident. <coughs> so yeah, so So yeah, it was really, it's really, it seemed like really difficult for. So yeah. So yeah. Um, yeah, if you don't haven't guys and um, haven't really checked out about the ladies' clothes, I think you should. I think they have worked and deserve this respect. And I really love this group. And um, uh, for the girls, um, for Ashley, uh, Zuni, and Song Soju, um, fighting. And I hope you guys can see this and grow even more because I don't know if you're going to have two more members for the group and yeah you guys has you guys deserve the best because you guys has worked so hard so hard for all of your songs that has released with Young alongside with Young and Risa you guys have worked really hard for what you have achieved so yeah so that is all guys that is all my top 10 female rookie groups that has come out last year and this year. Um, uh, what is yours? <laughs> I know some of them you might be mad at me say so you, you don't know much about some of the uh the re the new K pop girls I uh, they don't really I didn't listen to their songs but I don't really some of them are just debuting. It was really hard to pick because all you see is more guys than girls. Like it's like um and some of these if you go to Wikipedia <laughs> Some of their names are not even there, so I wouldn't know much. So I just pick up the most, most as I can. So yeah. So that is all, guys. Um, yeah. What is your rookie groups that has come along this year with the males and the females? Um, just write it down in the comments down below. So and that's pretty. That's pretty. Wow. I just did not realize how long it is. So yeah, um, stick around with me because I might be doing another video of the comebacks that has be the top ten comebacks that has come out within the second part of the year. And yeah, I will just speak about it. I'll probably have the song ready for you. So <gasps> stick around, stick around. Yay! Okay, so that is all, guys. So remember to subscribe my channel, like this video, share this video, and also. Follow on, <laughs> follow and like all my social medias. So 
that is all. So, Anyon everyone, and Salanke.